What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing okay today. So, I want to talk to you guys about affordable M.2 SSDs. That's right, M.2 SSDs. Now, oh yeah, you like this? This is my new, uh, my new boom arm. Pretty cool, right? Can you see it? I know it's kind of dark in here, but that's kind of how we like to roll. But yes, I want to talk to you guys about these. These are solid states, S7, M.2, PCIe, Gen 3 x 4, 256 gigabyte. That's right, a PCI Express SSD. Now this sucker is fast, balls to the wall. Well, what I want to do is, is I want to take it out of the package, I want to install it, and then I want to see what kind of testing results we get with it. So let's go ahead and remove the boxes. So I went ahead and put the drive in. That's it right there. You can see it down there just chilling all pretty. Now one of the things that I did find out about my B450 Strix board is it has two M.2 slots on it, right? Well, in the BIOS, it only allows you to run an SSD and an M.2 drive, and that's it. Or you can run two M.2 drives and no SSD. I don't know why that is. I would like to get it to where it boot completely off of the M.2 and then it used the, the SATA drive and the other drive to run all the crap off of, to store everything. But that's not at all. When I did the download of the Windows, it actually split it. Um, majority of the Windows installs on here but a lot of the programs are saved to the other drive and I don't know really why that is uh, but yeah let's pull up crystal disk mark and after crystal disk mark we're gonna see what our read and write speeds are Here it is out of link m.2 256 gigabyte um, I'm only using 43 of it and it looks like I have 195 gigs of free storage Let's go to Crystal Disk Mark and see what see what our scores are going to be. Okay, so all you got to do is go to the Microsoft Store. You can just go to Google and type in Crystal Disk Mark. And then once you get it, what you'll do is you'll just, um, well, basically hit the free or the get button. And then once you hit the get button, it will open up and ask you to run the program once you run it. It is really straightforward, but it is free to use. And this is an awesome tool to tell you how fast your hard drives transfer data back and forth. Very good tool to know. Um, if you want to compare an SSD to a mechanical hard drive, this is definitely the way to do it. So let's go ahead and get the program open and we'll get it started. And then we'll run it and see what our actual results are. Um, I'm hoping the results are the same on the box. Once you got the program opened up, you really don't want to mess with anything at the top. Uh, just kind of want to run it as it is. Um, as you can see, it's broken down into four reads. We're more interested in the top. Um, and then the second and the third and the fourth. But we're more interested in what the first line says. So let's just um, let's go ahead and just give it a hit and we'll let it go and see what our final results are. Usually it takes a few minutes and then boom, it'll pop up. So there you have it. There's our results. All right. Yeah. So on the box, it says anywhere from 3000 read to 1000 writes. Um, having a score of 2600 ish is pretty good. That's, you know, not too far off from the mark and then we're actually a little bit over the right speed they claim it to do a thousand we're actually doing a little over a thousand so I mean that's really good so compared to like a mechanical hard drive your mechanical hard drive will probably do anywhere from 250 megabytes a second and then your and then your SSD that will probably do anywhere from 300 to like 500 megabytes a second so you can really see how much faster an m.2 pcie drive is 
so there you have it guys not a bad deal 50 bucks ad link m.2 pci express now there is a big difference between m.2 ssd and m.2 pci express big differences i would go with the pci pcie would be more of that because that is twice as fast as the other one because the other one doesn't rely on PCI lanes it actually relies on using SATA and SATA is inhibited only by six gigs a second 50 bucks not bad I'll leave a link in the description below make sure to subscribe and check me out we're on Facebook and as always you guys be cool and we'll see y'all next time thank you for watching stay safe out there guys wear a mask protect yourselves because we're doing pretty good on ours Real quick before I go, I wanted to show you guys my new toys that just came in. These are really awesome. Now, unfortunately, the price tag for these is like 40 to 60 bucks a piece. I found them for $6 a piece on Amazon. Let's uh let's open it. Can you see it says freeze mod on it? I bought two of them of the same color same size same everything what they are is their reservoir mounts see how it says freeze mod on it made out of blue aluminum basically what it does is it wraps around your reservoir and will hold it all right and the really cool part about it is is that it comes with another piece It comes with this bracket now what this bracket is for is so it sits on your radiator like that all right so this bracket mounts to your radiator just like so you can see it lines up with them two holes perfectly and then this part mounts to the aluminum aluminum like so so that way I can hang my reservoir now I can hang it on the back of a well radiator pretty cool right freeze mod I'm really liking these freeze mod they're cheap but they're made out of really good stuff and I'm very happy I mean all of these fittings and tubing and everything you can see it right there it says it's the same symbol freeze mod that's what I use it's um, a generic Chinese brand, but dang they make really good stuff um, Just because it doesn't say singularity computers on it doesn't mean it's junk But yeah, I bought two of these for six bucks a piece. I was like, oh my god. Are you serious? I haven't seen Yeah, that one looks good, too. I haven't seen these That cheap never usually when you find these Oh, and they also come in different diameters too. So if you don't want one this big, you can get one slightly smaller and so on and so forth. And they come in different colors and stuff too. Um, but usually when you find these, like I said originally, you'll find them for like 30 to 60 bucks a piece. These were $6 a piece and they come in all different colors and sizes. So definitely jump on that. Definitely jump on this. And make sure to jump on the bandwagon of ATEC PCs. So, see y'all next time.